这局棋才刚开始。Next, I will walk you through the starring feature and give you a full hands-on experience with it. If you've logged into the website homepage recently, you've probably seen the starring feature. You find it incredibly simple and intuitive to use. Let me guide you through recording your own character. Once you click start recording, a window will pop up. Just follow the on-screen instructions and speak along. One will capture both your image and voice. Then generate a roughly five seconds. Video clip, confirm, and your character is ready to go. In the settings, you can name your character and adjust its visibility. Keep it private for yourself, or share it publicly for others to use. Let me briefly explain why video references have a clear advantage over image references. Traditionally, with image references, you are limited to uploading just four or six photos, and each photo captures only a fixed angle. But a five-second video, under a standard frame rate, that's about 150 frames, not just four or six images. That's a massive difference in information density, basic mass, really. Four images show only specific angles, which limits consistency when reconstructing your likeness. But 150 frames, as you saw in my demo, you can rotate the character 360 degrees, letting AI fully memorize your appearance and tell the kicker video. Let you record your voice too, so AI remembers your unique tone. In all the examples I'm about to show, you'll see how one 2.6 flawlessly produces my exact voice. Now let's dive into some quick demos. First, I will use a simple prompt: my daily routine as a Velociraptor trainer. Let's see how one 2.6 handles it. 今天的活动频率比上周高了近百分之四十。这群小家伙真是越来越活跃了，又来讨表扬了。你可是今天跑得最快的一个。Notice how even my outfit, this sweater I'm wearing right now, appears perfectly replicated in the trainer's attire. Pretty wild, right? I tested the same prompt again. Here's another take. Hey, 小家伙，今天状态不错啊。Did you notice something clever in these videos? There's an intelligent scene framing system at work. This is one of one 2.6 standout features: automatic smart shot composition. Even if your prompt is a simple, straightforward sentence, one automatically cuts between shots and does it beautifully, giving you a rich, immersive sense of the environment. Take this in、uh, tracks chasing me down、uh, Shanghai Street. You don't just see the Oriental Pro Tower in the distance. You also catch the plane trees lining the road and my facial expressions. Another example: I ask the character to sit inside the Peace Hotel, sipping cola. This smell like the old days of the cigarette advertisement. But Harry's the thing. I didn't specify any visual style, so the output. Felt a bit off from what I imagined. I pictured something more vintage. With such a minimal prompt, I was underutilizing when cinematic aesthetic strengths. So I refined the prompt, adding stylistic cues. This scene is inspired by Wong Kar Wai's film's retro cinema lens. Mysterious, mysterious camera movements. The result. A noticeable upgrade in filmic quality, though still not quite movie level yet. Earlier, I mentioned one secret weapon is uncanny sensitivity to cinematic framing terms. Add a few camera movement prompts or professional film jargon, and your generated footage instantly feels more cinematic. Below, I tweaked the prompt further. Watch how the camera work becomes far more deliberate. Let me show you this case first. Notice the sudden shift between focus and blur. As a smooth, continuous tracking shot, the character's texture also feels authentically cinematic. Applying the same technique to another scene works brilliantly too. Here, I described myself stuck in traffic with Santa Claus, who decides to make the car fly. Check out the camera movement. 抓紧了。
，我们没时间迟到。这，这也太疯狂了。See that another gorgeous、uh, fluid long shot. So that wraps up when 2.6 capabilities around human characters. You can create your own, and then nails both your look and voice. But wait, there's a delightful surprise. You can also create animal characters. I have a cat named Nika. I casually filmed her daily life, uploaded the clip, even though the lighting was poor and the resolution low. I was skeptical about the output, but one blew my doubts away. Just with a simple prompt, Nika, growing up a Lango lion in Africa, living her daily life, here is the result. When she stands up, I was stunned. This is owner-approved quality. Her color spotted, not almost identical, literally identical. Here is another clip. I swapped the lions for velociraptors, even weirder scenarios. In this country, the land of the dinosaurs, survival is not a choice. No problem. What about ultra cinematic scenes? Imagine a velociraptor bursting into a human home, rescuing kidnapped Nika, then fleeing together. No sweat. Also note the stunning 1080p clarity, a level totally viable for commercial projects. Beyond the animals, you can even create the fictional characters. Sometimes you want to build a character but lack source footage. Here's a pro tip: how to upload a fictional character. Say I want Van Gogh to appear in my video, but I only have his self-portrait. Easy. First, upload the portrait to one and animate it, make him glance left and right. Now you got a recorded character asset. Upload that to the video character tool, and one instantly recognizes and creates the role. Then summon him via prompt. Say, meet me on a Parisian street. Watch this. This city's light always makes me think of the summer. Mango lives again. Of course, he doesn't just meet me. He can meet our cat, Nika too. Good morning, ah, little guy. Today, the wind has that sea. Perfectly rendered. Think this is the end. Not even close. You can upload animals, fictional characters. Heck, you can even upload objects to turn them into recurring characters in your videos. Case in point: Last night at a friend's bar, I casually filmed a cocktail. I uploaded that tiny clip to one 2.6 created a drink as an object character, and it nailed the recognition. Then I used a prompt to summon it. Let's see how it performs. I had Einstein order this drink at a Parisian bar. Not only did they replicate the drink with pigs' paper fixed accuracy, but the clarity was astonishing. A huge win! Imagine the potential for projector showcases. The possibilities here are mind blowing. That's all for today's demo. One final review, Starry now offers a 1080p API. Expect to see this killer feature rolling out across top third-party platforms very soon.